Now, this is who we're serving and how do we serve them better? What are some things that we can do to incorporate um, Spanish or and or Spanish and translating into the Amazon space so we can serve more uh, of the population? I love I love the question. There are two parts of it. Of it. The first thing is what we can do. And the other thing is what you mentioned, which I love, is that Amazon is a niche and this is a niche within a niche. Mm -hmm. And I'll go I will go deeper. In the in the Hispanic community, there are niches for every single culture or or nationality because we speak a different Spanish in Venezuela than the one in Argentina or the one in Mexico or the one in Spain. There mm -hmm. are different. So the, the, let's say that you're selling a spatula. The name for that in, in Venezuelan Spanish is probably different from the one in, in Spain. So the amazing thing here, because we're talking about the same product, but we're, we're talking about different path, different search terms to get to that product. So there, that that's the layer, and that's probably the the place where um, native English speakers will find the most amount of complexity is finding those keywords for every single like country, right? And then we have the the other part of what we can do on Amazon. So I'm gonna walk you through the things that you need to do right now to notice if you can uh, or if you are selling properly to them. So first thing, and, and this is something that I see all the time, is that there are discrepancies within between the information in English and the information in Spanish. So if your listing in English is an object, the Spanish translation is the shadow we need to have the exact same. We, it needs to be a shadow. Sometimes that's separated because the information in Spanish is different. So you will go to your, to your amazon.com, you go on Amazon and you will look for your listing. And on the top uh, bar that we have where the search bar is, next to the search bar, there is a, an American flag. If you click on the American flag, you will see two options, English and Spanish. So you will click Spanish and click continue and the whole experience in your amazon.com will change to spanish and don't worry you can reverse that back but that's that's where you notice what are the discrepancies in my listings so for example if you're if and i see this so often if your title is let's say 150 characters you will see maybe that when you change it to spanish it's only 30 characters so there's not a lot of information or you have five bullet points with, I don't know, three rows of information. And in Spanish, it's just three bullet points and it's just one line. Mm -hmm. So that visually, without you knowing in Spanish, that visually tells you that there is a discrepancy. So that's the first thing that you need to do. You need to find those discrepancies if you have. The, the way it works is that Amazon automatically translate your listing when you create it what so so when you create the ASIN and this is a, a very frequent practice on in in the in the industry is that I'm gonna create the ASIN and I'm going to leave it there because I need the FSQ to send it to my, my manufacturer or make the, the packaging or whatever and and then like three weeks after is that I'm going to optimize that listing. I'm going to put the right title, the Bible books, right. Mm -hmm. But when the creation happens with that information that you created the listing is that Amazon is going to translate it automatically. And, and three weeks after, one month after, when you really put your real keywords or your real SEO and all the stuff, Amazon won't go again and, and translate that. So what you need to do is to request the update. And, and there is a thing here. I'm not telling you to go and translate your listing in Spanish. Unfortunately, in the US, you cannot give them the copy in Spanish that you want. Unfortunately, you can do that in Mexico, but this is different. And the listings, and this is a question that I get quite often, it's like, oh, if I, but if I sell in Mexico, they're taking the information that, that they have in Mexico to put in my Spanish listing in the US? No. Mm. The, the, the answer is no. They use the translation of the information that is in English. So you need to 
if you see discrepancies, and I've seen listings where that the whole bullet points disappear or there is no description or, you know, the title is just, um, you know, 20 characters. In that case, you need to open the case with seller support and you need to request the update in the translation. So when you, you're going to take the ASIN, you're going to take a screenshot a screenshot in English and a screenshot in Spanish. And potentially, if you see a lot of discrepancies, you can highlight that without knowing Spanish, mm -hmm. right? You, you can notice when the title is shorter. You can notice if bullet points are missing. Like you can notice those things. And if the representative that helps you in seller, seller support, if, even if they don't speak Spanish, they could also notice that. And it is, it is an automatic tool for them. They need to escalate that to a specific team and they just need to update the translation, right? It's just clicking a button and, you know, uh, updating that. That's one part. 